Ladies and gentlemen, for the past 242 days, I've been very intimate with the program Adobe Illustrator. Now, I've been using it for many, many years, but because of these past 242 days, which are part of my 365 challenge, where I'm designing a logo every day for 365 days, some of you guys might have actually seen it. It's gone viral on TikTok and done pretty well on my other social media. So if you guys want to see what I've done up until this point, make sure you guys check me out at Homescope on all socials. But because of this time where I've spent a significant amount of time every day in Adobe Illustrator, I've learned very specific tools that every designer should definitely know. Some of these might be so obvious, some of them not, but no matter what, they're absolutely going to help your workflow in this program. Our first tool is going to be the Width tool, which has the keyboard shortcut Shift W. This works perfectly in tandem with the Pen tool, where if you make a line, you can adjust the width of the whole line or certain parts of it, so that way you can taper it in specific situations. This can work for a multitude of things, any ideas that you kind of have come to your head, but I typically use this for any time that I make a mascot logo or any project that includes a lot of detail. Tool number two is one that a lot of designers do know. However, when I was first starting out, I've seen a lot of people use it, but I never understood what it was or how to actually use it, and that is the Shape Builder tool. This might be obvious to some, but all you have to do is press Shift M for this to show up, and basically, when you have all of your shapes selected, you can cut out and add in specific shapes to create whatever it is that you're trying to create. The one problem that comes with the Shape Builder tool is that there ends up being a significant amount of anchor points that show up, but if you right-click and choose Simplify, you can adjust that so that way there aren't as many anchor points in the final shape. Tool number three isn't one that you find in the toolbar at all, so basically, I don't know if it's even considered a tool, but it is incredibly helpful to anyone that is creating vector designs out there, and that is the Object Repeat panel. All you have to do is go to Object Repeat, and then there's three options. There's Radial, there's Grid, and there's Mirror. Basically, with Radial, you create a bunch of different instances, which allows you to create different copies in a circle. You can adjust how many copies are in there, so if you want to create something like a sunflower or just a four-pointed thing. With Grid, you could create a pattern much easier than you would with any other option. All you have to do is just drag out how many copies that you want in the pattern, and then it just makes it for you. And then Mirror just takes a direct copy of whatever logo or whatever vector design you're coming up with and just reflecting it on its side. Now, of course, you could just right-click, transfer, reflect, but this is just another option to do it. Tool number four is one of the most helpful ones that I found throughout this whole series, and shout out to a lot of my design friends who have told me about this, and that is the artboard tool. But on top of that, there's also the artboard panel, because I never knew that you create a bunch of different artboards in Adobe Illustrator and then all export them at once. Maybe I'm stupid and just a bad designer for not knowing that, but now that I know it, I can't stop using it. I can't stop living by it. And basically, if you want to create multiple artboards, but let's say that one isn't the size that you want to, you use the artboard tool in your toolbar, and you can adjust the artboards directly right on screen without having to do too many adjustments or too many options that could get confusing. All you do is just literally use the tool and it extends the artboard. It's really simple. Our final tool is going to be the curvature tool, which you just find out by pressing shift tilde, which is the escape key on your keyboard, basically. And basically what this allows you to do is take any sort of pen shape that you have. So let's say you have a straight line that you've created with either the line tool or with the pen tool. You could use this specific tool to curve out the lines. It's a much easier way to do it. It's much more uniform rather than trying to adjust the anchor points or the handles of the anchor points. It makes it a lot easier for any designer out there. It saves a lot of time. It's right next to the pen tool. All right, guys, there it is. Five helpful tools for any designer out there that is using Adobe Illustrator. These ones are definitely must-haves and will make your life a lot easier. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And let me know if you want to see five more tools for Adobe Illustrator. Also, by the way, guys, I do have about 120 days left of this 365 challenge. So if you guys ever want to catch me doing these designs live or you want to just chat with me, make sure you guys follow me on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash homescope. I'm actually live streaming these every weekday, Monday through Friday. And on Fridays, we actually do follower Friday. So if you guys want a chance to have your logo redesigned as part of my challenge, then make sure that you guys show up to the Friday streams. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love, peace, and chicken grease.